Proverbs chapter 4. I'm reading from verse 16 and 17. It's a scripture you read, but sometimes we overlook what God is saying to us. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 16. For they do not sleep unless they have done evil. And their sleep is taken away unless they make somebody fall. Verse 17. And they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. My darling, let me speak the typical Ghanaian English. You are sitting here somewhere, minding your business, going about your business, but there are others who do not sleep because of you. They are not happy because of your success. They are not happy because your children are doing well. And I always say, instead of envying my children, and instead of not being happy with me, why don't you find out my secrets? My darling, your secrets is the altar of your father. If they want to be like you, if they want to be successful like you, if they want their children to excel like you, they must serve your God. They must come to Congress. Once they come to Congress, they will conquer in every area of their lives. But my emphasis Verse 17. For they eat the bread of wickedness and they drink the wine of violence. My darling, if you are taking communion like you'll be taking this morning, take it with meaning. Because there are people who call themselves enemies that are also taking communion. Their communion is to do evil. Their communion is for violence. Their communion is to do wicked things. Anytime you take communion, my darling, from today, take it with meaning. And I don't just take the communion. After I have drunk some, my children always say, I, I apply more than I drink. After I have drunk some, I apply. I apply over my head. I apply over my breast. Against breast cancer. I apply over my ears. That my ears will hear good news. I will apply over my eyes. That my eyes will see my miracles. I apply over my lips that my lips will speak the goodness of the Lord. I apply over my feet that the Lord will order my steps, that my feet will walk in butter. I apply over my hands that my hands will count money, will count dollars, will count euros, will count pounds, will count rands, will count my darling. Don't take communion for granted. Don't take yesterday night. Don't say yesterday night. We took communion. This morning, we are taking communion. I was a Catholic before I became a royal. In the Catholic church, every mass, every service, we take communion. And I believe that your communion this morning 
will protect you. Your communion this morning will cause your enemies to flee from you. Sometimes when we come to church and we talk about enemies, people wonder, what are we talking about? My, used, my children used to say, as a royal house, everything, clap your hands, stamp your feet. Eh, eh. My darling, wait until they come after you. Wait until they come after what you have. Wait until they come after your members. Wait until they come after your health. Wait until they come after your wife. Wait until they come after your, your husband. Wait until they come after what is so dear to you. I see that they want to come after what is dear to me. But on this altar, the altar of my brother, I declare that they will never get me. They will never get my children. They will never get my grandchildren. And if you care to know, my address has changed. Last year, I came as a grandmother of two granddaughters. This year, I am here as a grandmother of a grandson. The name of my grandson is Sam Crunchy and Cranimo. They don't like their name. They don't like that name. But I will disappoint them. He would take over the dynasty of his grandfather. He would take over the name of his grandfather. He would take over the anointing of his grandfather. He would take over the influence of his grandfather. Like Elisha, he would do better than his grandfather. His grandfather performed seven miracles. But he will perform 14 miracles. I'm here to let you know. You'll be taller than your enemies. You'll be greater than your enemies. You'll be richer than your enemies. You will prosper than your competitors. Those who do not wish you well. Those who do not want you to prosper. Those who do not want you to be happy. Those who do not want you to laugh. You will laugh. You will celebrate. You will dance. You will enjoy the toll of your labor. Whatever you have worked for, whatever you have struggled for, whatever you have prayed for, whatever you have cried for, shall be yours. Nobody, nobody, I said nobody will take what belongs to you. Nobody will enjoy what belongs to you. Nobody will sit in your seat. Nobody will drink your cup. Nobody will drink your water. Nobody will eat your bread. Nobody will enjoy your children. Nobody will enjoy your wife. Nobody will enjoy your husband. What belongs to you will be yours. May you be blessed. May you be favored. May you increase. May you succeed. Nobody will kill you before your time. You will never die before your time. What they don't want to see, they will see. Your children will graduate from school. Your children will marry. Your children will take over South Africa. Your children will have a voice in South Africa. Your children will rule in South Africa. They will walk in the corridors of power. They will walk in the corridors of power. They will walk in the corridors of power. They will walk 
in the corridors of power, I have come to prophesy to you that the God of your father, the God of Apostle General, the God of CTCM will show you kindness. The God will show you favor. Any time you run to this altar with any need, it shall be answered. I declare that the angels of the Lord will be on an assignment because of you. You are blessed. You are favored. Your week shall be good. The month of May, the month of grace shall treat you well. Grace will find you. Grace will locate you. Doors will be opened unto you. You will walk in your glory. You will walk in your miracle. You will walk in your favor. You will be celebrated. You will be called madam. You will be called sir. What they don't want to see, they will see you. The next time I see you, I will hear about you on BBC. I will hear about you on CNN. I will read about you. History, 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 history is about to be written about you. Generations after you will read about you. You are blessed. You are favored. You will succeed in the name of Jesus.